everyone. New name here, playing Watcher of Realms. Uh, Happy New Year, 2024. This is a guide of a few strategies that are available for new players that are attempting to clear Gear Raid 3 Stage 18. One of the three Gear Raids required at 18 to clear to get a free legendary. It's not really free, you got to play the game and earn it, but you know, essentially, here's your reward for accomplishing that task. So you're going to have to bear with the video just a little bit as I'm way overpowered for this stage, but I'm going to do it with the power of dominance off and I'm not going to use legendaries except for healer and comet and mage for this. But who I will use, I can't help it. They're already maxed heroes. Okay. I'm going to put certain gear on a couple of the heroes because I want to be able to at least accomplish killing the stage. But what I did was I have maxed out mythic artifacts. So I'm just going to use base cheap or no artifacts whatsoever. Okay. So I can't help it. I've got to have some kind of, I don't have any other gear. This is the only gear that's available. I apologize. I never thought to make this video earlier for people. Okay. But I'm trying to put like, you know, not meaningful sets on heroes. And you'll see the impact of that. Instead of doing like 30,000 per hit, they're going to do like 6,000. So that's why I'm omitting the artifacts because I'm assuming players don't have maxed out mythical artifacts when they're trying to do this. Okay. And I'm showing you the gear first so that you're completely aware and I'm transparent. Like I don't, I don't even put a bangle on my comet. Okay. And he's just a standard ring here. Okay. But you'll notice that it has a chance to slow and that's what's important. That's in this strategy, what I'll show you here. I'm just going to keep this on Yona, whatever. Okay. Again, it's not a complete set. She's not getting any benefit of the stage 19 sets. I have to have it on Angel, I think. I don't, I don't have any other gear, so I apologize. Anyways, we're going to do it together. We're going to walk through it slowly. And hopefully this will help you at least in Gear A318 achieve your first time three-star clear. Actually, you don't even have to three-star clear it for the first time for it to count. You, just, you can even use a friend assist and take a piercer lord so that you're ranged marksmen have one more tile it actually counts towards that okay so you'll see that the power dominance i'm going to enable it now i'm going to take it off so we're going to go right into the fight and i like you i can't help it that's my battle power i can't help it but a lot of it as you'll see here it's like in my healer okay she's got 100k right and the same thing with the vortex he's got like 100k i'm not even going to use silas and you'll see so there's only like if i show you this is achievable, I believe, these kind of stats that I showed you for somebody that's attempting to clear this content. Yeah, like I said, I really wish I was able to do this for you without superpower gear. I can't help it. That's all I have. What's key, though, is, is that I use this Ein, and we all get an Ein because of his Lord bonus for the Watchers. Okay? So they're all getting a 20% periodic damage increase. And Idril is a superstar in Gear A3 and in most of this game. I'm bringing Brienne. I believe she's somebody that you can bring as well. And I bought Iona. Hopefully you have some kind of an AOE mage like Iona. So there's a lot of waves of 8 to 10 enemies on this stage. And the key is knowing that at gear 8, 3, stage 18, you can bring an AOE mage like Comet. And I'll show you when I'm here. Comet's going to sit on this tile down in this this corner, sorry, up here. And he's going to, if not be able to kill, excuse me, at least lower this. And I'm going to do this again after, and I'm going to try it with Boreas, just to show you the benefit of how strong crowd control is in this game. More so than damage sometimes, okay? But when you want to fight the boss, you put single target damage dealers. And you can even put like a Zillatu or an Arrogance or an Aracha or an Absan, they can reach the boss from this tile because they also attack air. Okay? I'm not bringing them. And as you saw, I didn't bring a Piercer Lord. So if you bring a Piercer Lord, okay, even if you borrow the Piercer Lord, you won't get the Lord bonus. But if you have one of your own, you bring Lunera, then these heroes, they can reach one more tile. So anybody that's over on these tiles can reach into the back line of the enemies that you'll see my mall do. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to get into this. And the first I'm going to do is put down a vortex. If you have a hollow, she'll work just the same because you can see the area that she can heal. Okay. So that your whoever units on that tile, they're safe because your healer is going to reach them. If you don't have vortex and you don't have hollow, you can use a healer like Medan 
And you can stick Medan on this tile and you can turn her sideways. So she'll reach here and she'll also cover whatever units that you have in these tiles because Medan heals behind her back. Okay. So my Elowin is going to show you what I just described when I place her on this tile. All right. So you'll notice my Brienne, you're like, oh, I don't know what your damage is on your heroes, okay? But, but when I engage my Idril here, like, see, she I can't help it, okay? She This is the only gear I can put on her. So she's going to do mad damage, but I'm going to try to make sure the video is a little fair for you. So see how I have my healer Elowen faced. So Elowen will take care of anybody here and the person on that tile. And if you look over here where the other healer is, Vortex or Hollow can do this, everybody else is covered. I'm not going to use these tiles or these tiles. So my two healers have covered everybody. And you can use a Medan here, who's an epic. You can also use Lightlock, as far as I know. I just don't, okay? So here's another key, is that I'm going to use an AoE Mage on this corner tile here, Yona. All right? And Yona is going to help whatever waves that your hero on the right side, if they can't kill it all, she's going to help out with her AOE. So now I'm going to stick my other AOE mage on the right side here. It's common. Okay? And you can use Boreas, I'm sure, and we'll go through it again, and I'll, I'll show you with Boreas. All right? But as long as you have your ultimate up on this stage, and there's nothing coming on the left side, like your roster's different than mine. You're going to have to figure out your own timings for it. But I'm going to use my Brienne here because her AOE splashes. So it helps take out those exploding bum bugs because those are what's going to hurt you the most, obviously. So you'll notice that Comet can't reach. Okay, now he can. Once they've moved up, now I engage his ultimate. And boom, he starts hitting everybody, okay? So if you have Nyx or Kai, you can put them over here where Maul is if you're lucky enough to have a Razak, which I do. Okay, And Maul, obviously, he's going to kick their butt, all right? But you'll notice that he got hit with a spear. So he has to get a heal. And that's why I have a healer focused on him. Okay. So you can also bring I and put him here. And he becomes a focus point for some of the damage that comes from the waves if they don't get killed. Okay. And again, like I'm just going to use my Maul ultimate. He'll take care of the left side here. Like I can't help that. Okay. And you'll see, I can't reach with Comet. And if I put in a Piercer Lord, I still can't reach with Comet because he's not a marksman. He's not a Piercer. It's not going to help him. Okay. So if you have Nyx and Maul, or you have Kai and Razak, you can use them with a Lunera. And they'll be able to reach no problem whatsoever. But you can see also, this is why Maul is so good. He doesn't need the Piercer Tile Extender bonus to get out there. Okay. So I've shown you how like Ayn can be in here, so he'll he can't hit anything, okay? But he is a focus point. Okay. Doesn't matter what I do, Ayn's not gonna hit anything until I, I don't think maybe the boss. Okay. But hopefully I don't kill everybody. And you'll see, yeah. I can't help it, guys. That the, the my heroes are all maxed out. Okay, I did my best to make them wimpy. But um See how, see how this mob is squeaking by? And it's probably going to happen to you as well, right? So what you can do is whatever side the mobs are squeaking through, instead of putting an iron down, you bring Mari. And Mari, Mari, Mari she's going to help slow them. But I face her this way, just in case the left side squeaks through, okay? So on my count, it's not going to. But I'll show you another run after. So again, see how there's multiple mobs at the boss? That's why I use Brienne's ultimate, because it and normally it splashes, right? As it says, AOE damage. I'm guessing these units are too spaced out, so they're not getting hit with her AOE. So I'm, I'm purposely trying to pretend like I don't have a strong account, so I'm not bringing a Dolores, as you saw. I didn't bring a, um, um, what's her name? I apologize. I didn't bring a Laurel, okay? And you'll see here, like, this This might look a lot like how you're like, oh, my God, how, how do I do this at the end or whatever? And all you got to do is time your ultimates and any kind of slowing effects that you have. But you also need to dedicate two healer spots, okay? Unless you have an overpowered account, 
your people are going to die if they don't have a dedicated healer to their side of that stage, okay? So I'm going to run it again, and I'm going to bring in a different hero, all right? Now, I hope this guides help you. Again, I forget it's been a couple months since I've done this stage, and I remember the struggle that I had as well. And what really helped me figure it out was I'm like, hey, there's I've got Mari, right? Mari's going to work. So I'm going to bring in Boreas, and I'm also going to drop Ayn, and I'm going to bring in, um, I guess, Lunera, because the other one, she's too strong, right? If I show you uh, Aracha, she gives a big, huge Lord bonus, okay? So if you go into uh, Piercers, okay, and you find Lunera, okay, she's going to give an extra tile to these two heroes, all right? So they don't really need it, but I'm going to show you what you also can do for them, okay? Because they've got a Lord bonus now. So instead of having to put Idril way up front, you could actually move her to this tile and you'll see with that Lord bonus, it jumps up one, okay? But then she's no longer fighting the boss, but she would be able to help engage the mobs once they're here. Because when you put your hero here normally, they can't engage those mobs until they've that wave has already come and it's at this corner and it's too late for them to support once it goes behind them, okay? So the same thing on this side, you can put your Lunera or whoever, it's gonna be the same thing. Out here, you'll see that she gains an extra tile, okay? So now I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it properly for you. And the big key factor about this stage is, is bringing the crowd control, the CC. If you have any kind of artifacts that have a slowing effect, okay, it doesn't matter if they give you damage boost or not so much, just to clear it for the first time, it's that slowing effect as, so that you can make the mobs gather up and slow down and your enemies might have hit you once, but now you're able to regenerate your ultimate powers. Okay? So the only reason I'm going to bring Boreas in is perhaps people have a Boreas. And if you do, I've never used him here, but he works all the way up to the end game. Okay. I no power dominance cleared gear rate three stage 21 using Boreas. Okay. So we're going to pretend like I'm going to actually do this stage. All right. So it's going to be the same thing. I've got my heroes here. Okay. But they're going to get a bit more boost. You see how, excuse me, Brianne, her power went up just a little bit because I brought her piercer Lord. She's a piercer, that green diamond okay and lunera i don't even have to deploy lunera but you can she's going to do damage for you if you do airborne okay but it's going to be a boreas instead of a comet here and i think i think my boreas doesn't have any gear on i think he's naked so we're going to find out okay and I, i'm actually really curious because this is the benefit of boreas this guy's like a cheat coder catch-up mechanic for new accounts every 18 seconds he's he's just going to passively freeze anything that's within his range except that his range for that freeze is like half the map okay so i'm curious myself we'll see what happens here but i'm going to put my elowen down preemptively because she's going to help heal brienne and establish some rage okay but again as you see now like this boss has taken a bit more damage than the first time just because of this piercer lord that i have here all right so I don't want to do anything with Boreas yet. I want you to see, see how he's, you can see how far he reaches, okay, with his freeze. So now I'm going to use his ultimate. And he can't reach with his ultimate, right? His actual attack range stops one tile short. But once they move up, Boreas is going to, he's going to slaughter them, sorry. So I can't put Comet over there. It's not going to work, okay? I'm going to use Maul again. Now you'll see, see Boreas, see what he's done, okay? He's frozen those mobs, okay? He has, he's not going to kill them, I don't think, not being naked. But that's the power of the crowd control. You'll see it as they start coming through, okay? So the other idea is, is that you can support him with your Idril, all right? Now, I'm going to put my Mari facing in a different direction because I'm assuming Boreas can't kill these guys, Okay. So they're gonna, these mobs are gonna start squeaking through on that side. However, that's why I have my Yona facing up and now I engage her ultimate, all right? 
So boom, Iona's going to take care of these guys for me. And Idril's ultimate is going, so anything that tried to get behind would not be able to. Pardon me. So I don't know how else to show this to you without, you know, the overpowered gear that I have. And I, I'm really sad about that. I never thought to do this earlier, okay? And again, I'm just going to engage these guys with the ultimate because it lowers the cooldown on Boreas's passive freeze, all right? So I'm going to show you Brienne and hopefully see how she's multi-targeting. So she took care of the exploding bum bugs on her side, all right? And you'll notice my Idril, like she's a maxed Idril and she still takes very death damage, amount of damage. So I want to make sure I have a dedicated healer from Vortex on her. So now's the time when they get close that you engage your Idril so that she's got her ultimate up for them, okay? And then I freeze. See how I froze with Mari? Okay, Mari's down in this corner, if I can get her. And she's freezing these mobs, so they're not doing anything. They're not able to hurt whoever you have on these corners. So your healer, my Vortex, or your healer, whoever it is, has an opportunity to catch up. Okay, and obviously Vortex is amazing. And if Vortex overheals, he puts a shield. So that shield is the first damage that's going to happen from those mobs instead of their life bar. So two major points that I'd like you to take away from this one is that the shields from the healer, especially Vortex, okay, they our Camille can accomplish the same thing. The shield is the first thing that comes off. There is no ignore shields on these mobs. They can't hurt you in a shield, okay? So I'm going to show you again, hopefully here with Mari on the freeze. You do it preemptively. Let's see how Boreas is effectively freezing them for us as well. So now these mobs can't get, this is why you put your Mori at the core, Mari, sorry, because she's usually built weak and super fast, okay? So I don't want to do it a third time with the same lineup and I don't want to show you with my overpowered gears because it's not going to help you, okay? Those are the placements. Those are the strategies that I have. If you don't have the Piercer Lord, you bring the Ein. Everybody's got an Ein, and hopefully you didn't just sell an Ein or an Epic Lord, okay? Some people have. But the key also is you're not concerned about a three-star for the first-time clearance to get that uh, achievement, okay? All you need to do is beat that stage. So I hope this guide helps you somewhat. I don't know how else I can show you. Like I said, if I put in all my regular gear, I don't. I only need it. She'll take care of that whole map for me with the Dolores. So that was done. Remember, there was no booster. There was no Dolores. There was no Autumn. There was no Laurel. I didn't use Volca, okay? These are all mostly epic heroes that you would have by the time you reach that stage. So if this guide helped you and you know other people that are struggling, please just Tell them about the functioning strategy, I, I, even the video. I'm okay with that, but this is New Name playing his favorite game, Watch Your Realms. Take care, everyone. Play nice.